Salutations my comment. How you guys doing? I remember the first time I went to Edinburgh. It was back in 2014 and it was one of my most favourite times. I went with my performing arts group from Sixth Form and it was quite a superb time. I remember we stayed there in Edinburgh and it was my first time being out of the country and you know exploring the world and seeing bizarre sights and everything like that. We went there and then we stayed in a hostel. So I think what it was, it was what? Like five or six boys in, in one room? This is Edinburgh. This is my room. That's Rob. Hello. That's boys room, eh? You know, like I said, there was a bunch of the boys and you know, one does enjoy having his own private time and his private quarters, but since we were all sharing a room, it, it did get a wee bit awkward at times. <laughs> Grand on me! I feel like you are actually a bit frustrated. You are, man. Last night you were saying some weird shit. Yeah, I was white for ages. I don't know Edinburgh being Edinburgh, it was very loud all the time and it was, you know, it was loud but I didn't really mind it but times when you were trying to go sleep at night, there'd be music blasting out, playing out loud. It did get on your nerves just slightly, just a little bit, only because it's what, 3am and you just, you just, you just want to go sleep. <laughs> actual house that we lived in. I'm here in Scotland and I'm here with Lou. Oh, hello. Sorry, I feel like I'm dirty. No, you're not. Well, we're, we're, we're all roomies, so... I'm going to be part of this. Are we all going to be part Yeah, of yeah. This is going to be... This is going to be a bit of a laugh. No, no way, Jim. No way. No. What, what's your shit? Some rubbish shit. Take a poo in it. <laughs> How many boys are there in this room? We've got six boys in this room. I'm going to just count to seven. I'm excited, really. Uh, just Rob, video. It's a video. Oh, I yeah. a picture then. I look like a clown. No, you look quite good. Yes, sir. Uh, this is our kitchen. Come on, Wait, for a minute. Luke, what's with the mirror? Oh, now you're, sh now you're shy. Oh, the thing I enjoyed and loved about Edinburgh is the fact that when you go out and you just explore the place, it's fantastic, you know. I walked and went to the Royal Mile and there was like all these brilliant, marvellous sights. And, you know, I think I think I saw Hitler as well. And, you know, guys dressed up as girls. That's a, that's a girl. That's a man. You know, choirs singing, like... <laughs> it was funny though actually because there's this joke that we said amongst ourselves which was in Edinburgh you'd um, expect there to be a lot of Scottish people but a lot of the people there are like foreigners Australian <laughs> Or, or, or like Irish. Edinburgh is quite a sight. I really, I really did enjoy it. And one of my favorite things was, uh, you know, seeing how lively and how colorful the place was during the nighttime. We went out for a drink at night and it was quite, it's quite creepy, but it was quite fantastic.
I think day two staying in Edinburgh, it was quite eventful for me. This is day two in Edinburgh and sorry for not recording much in day one, but I was pretty much enjoying myself. And it is, it is raining, so look at the weather now. It's just like, uh, oh my, you've proper shied away. Dude, yeah. basically that's Luke. Mm. There, and he was like fully awake and um, topless. Ladies. I wanted to visit the joke shop and buy a werewolf mask. I'm gonna head off to the joke shop to get some costume. I might get like a werewolf uh, mask because I really want to do this um, like a being human kind of spin off short film thing. And I realized it's gonna be really difficult to film in this gear because it's hard to breathe. I've been like struggling to get costumes from eBay because they're from like American stuff. And then um, I saw like a werewolf mask yesterday in a, a joke shop called Aha. Today's been exciting because I'm gonna see uh, Malam TV perform or on his own perform and that should be really good. And ask about his mum because his mum's gone Bollywood, remember? And that turned out super well and uh, yeah, that was brilliant. Salutation my comment, how you guys doing? I'm here with Malam TV, Mawan. I can't believe I've actually met him and He's there. Uh, Mawan, he was such a good sport about that little clip. He was so polite because he turned off his music, that's the background music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he knew that, you know, being a YouTuber, you're trying to avoid copyright music. I was like sort of improvising and sort of like playing like a, you know, crazy fan or whatever. And like the dude was playing along with it. And so, you know, props to him, you know. I mean, I'm this guy leaves really creepy comments on my videos. <laughs> I'm really glad I can put a face to all that filth. <laughs> Do you know how would they say, oh yeah, we should meet your role models or celebrities or whatever? But I'm really glad that I met him because he is everything that I sort of expected. I thought he was gonna be my height, but he wasn't. That doesn't really matter because he was really funny and he's a brilliant improviser. Thanks for coming to the show. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. I think on YouTube it's fine. In real life, it's a bit. It's a. It's okay. Very uncomfortable. Yeah, he stopped recording. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we also went out and we were celebrating my mate Matty's birthday. Happy birthday, dear Matty! Happy birthday to you! Hooray! 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 We went to this Indian restaurant and it's quite funny though, it's like, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, brown people, but um, do you know like when you guys go to Indian restaurants in general, it's funny because, well it's not funny, it's a bit cruel, but it's like usually if a brown person, like an Asian person, goes into an Asian, you know, Indian takeaway or restaurant, they don't get treated that well. However, other ethnic groups like white people, they get treated really well. So it was quite funny because I'm like the only Asian there in my group and like I'm sure I saw like some other people like brown people there before us but I think we got served earlier than them and I think it's because I guess they're trying to give a good image and also it might be the fact that we were like a large group I guess that did work because the following year we went and we went back to the place and ate again It's our last day and we're leaving in just a bit now so I just thought I'd give a little tour of our rooms and stuff. This is our room. As you can see, Luke woke up really late and he's just brushing his teeth and we're all aware of everyone up. It's really cute. It's cute. Oh, sorry yeah. about you. Yeah. yeah. Through the keyhole! <laughs> I've, just been, uh, I've just been speaking to my full game friend who was, uh, Michael Kane? Yeah, Ma Michael Kane friend, yeah. No, the cold man from court. The cold man from court, yeah. And he just said, uh, was that you singing and dancing last night? <laughs> In the flat above the way. This is the kitchen. And we all sat here on the first night and had a meal and everything. And it was good, yeah. And we've got good views. And we live right across the action, I suppose. Fridge, which is empty at the moment. Hello. Let me just show the girls' toilets. Here are the girls' toilets, a lot nicer than ours, which is like not fair. But um, yeah, they've got like a shower and a toilet and a lead thing. Yeah, I didn't know where the telephone there. Hello? What do you mean? It's Jimmy Savile. 
So that was my trip to Edinburgh. It was my first time and I really enjoyed it. I'd advise for you guys to go to Edinburgh Fringe or like Edinburgh in general because it's such a multicultural place and it's full of loads of these beautiful brilliant sites and like you see a lot of talented people on the street and everything like that if you're like me from a small town you don't get to explore a lot of these places it's like a massive culture show but it's brilliant and beautiful and i really enjoyed myself i guess that's all for this long ass video apologies for the length please be sure to comment like and subscribe and share it on your social medias like uh, facebook on twitter and like um instagrams and stuff i don't know how you share it in instagram but yeah please be sure to check out my edinburgh 2015 vlogs the trips and then also i made a mockumentary with uh, jack and rob and it was like an improvised mockumentary and we did that please be sure to check that out as well it was quite brilliant because i remember we were just walking along and checking out the size and everything like that and then uh, jack and rob just started narrating what they saw in different accents right so we're walking through the garden it's a very big garden some yeah. might even say it's a park and then we just sort of improvised a like a, a comedy sketch mockumentary thing and it was brilliant and it was really fun also please be sure to check out my trip to Bangladesh back in 2010 that video is coming soon um or before I don't know I don't know these I don't know the order I'm gonna edit these videos because I'm like marathoning and filming a lot of these videos all together I hope you guys enjoyed this video I guess that's it for now remember guys geeks are cool so love peace and feel under bye I think it's a tree. No! <laughs> a tree.